welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some insane tips and strategies to blow up your Instagram account organically. The tips that I'm going to cover will work great if you have a personal account or a personal brand, especially if you have a business, then these tips that I'm going to cover will work amazingly well for you. I hear so many complaints from my clients and on discovery calls about how the algorithm is just totally different now. You're not getting as much reach, you know, as you used to when you post new content. So I'm going to talk about how you can get hundreds and thousands of new followers, a lot more engagement on Instagram. So I hope you are excited. Take out your pens, take out your pads, take some notes. And without further ado, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's jump right into it. All right, so hack number one is to use Instagram Reels. If you are not using Instagram Reels, you are making a huge mistake because Instagram Reels is one of the newest features on Instagram. And because it's one of the newest feature, Instagram is giving it a lot, a lot, a lot of push, guys. So that means you can get more eyes in front of your products or services or more eyes on your personal profile. Me personally, I find that when I create a video and make it a reel, it gets a lot more views than posting it on my actual feed or on IGTV. So I am trying to capitalize on all of this extra engagement that the reels provide. Some great tips for getting more engagement on your reels. For one, make sure that you are providing tips, providing a lot of value. What's really popular right now is creating a 30 second reel. So reels are about 30 seconds or less. In those little clips, provide some value. Give you know five or so tips to accomplish something. So for example, for me, I might say something like five tips to get more followers on Instagram and I can make a 30 second reel out of that but people are eating up the reels guys and make sure that you include an eye-catching cover um, with some text on it so people can see the preview as they're scrolling through, the, through their feed and they can actually see what your reel is about and they can click on it watch and engage but if you are not leveraging reels make sure you start doing that like today because of that extra push that it's getting it's gonna get in front of more people, which means you will get more followers, more engagement, more likes, and the more um, value that you provide, that means you'll get more engagement. Usually you wanna shoot for getting as much engagement as possible within the first hour or so of that reel going live. So if someone takes the time to comment on your reel, you wanna make sure that you are commenting back so that you are boosting up that engagement and Instagram can thus push your reel in front of more people because they can see, all right, this is really engaging content. People are commenting. That means people must like it. So that is tip number one. Make sure that you are utilizing Instagram reels. All right, tip number two is to use polls and questions in your stories. If you are ever unsure of what your audience wants from you or what they're gonna be most interested in, then you should ask them. You never want to assume what your audience wants. So for example, for me, in my Instagram stories, I put up a poll recently asking my audience about what they're struggling with because I'm putting together a free Instagram masterclass. So I posted this and I got a lot of responses back that I wouldn't have even thought of because sometimes we have this tendency to think that what we know is common knowledge and that everyone else knows the things that we do, which is not the case. So when you are sending out polls to your audience, you get more insight on like burning questions that they have. But you're killing two birds with one stone here. Not only are you getting more information from your audience, when they take the time to answer your poll or write you a question, that's engagement. And that means that Instagram looks at it and says, oh, all right, people are really engaging with this. So this means more people will see your story because Instagram is pushing it each time someone engages with you. So me personally, I find that the polls and the ask me question stories get a lot more impressions and reach than just a typical story where no one really is prompted to engage with it. So use polls as much as possible. Find ways to engage with your audience and get them to answer questions. Do research through these stories. I've done this many, many times. I've done research and asked my audience a ton of questions that I didn't even know that they had. So 
doing these polls and the questions is extremely, extremely valuable and beneficial. And I encourage you to give this a shot ASAP, especially if you are putting together a class or a training or if you need to go live and you want to know what it is that you should be going live about, just ask your audience. Hack number three is commenting on other profiles. Do you want to know how to beat the algorithm? This is a question that I get asked all the time. Engagement beats the algorithm. I repeat, engagement beats the algorithm. You do not need to sit around on your hands and wait for people to discover your content, discover your profile. You need to engage in order to drive people back to your profile and you will start seeing so many more followers, people liking and commenting on your posts if you start engaging with other people. So literally create a schedule for yourself to comment on people who take the time to comment on your posts, comment on your followers posts, engage with them. Do not spam or talk about, hey, go check out my profile. That's not going to work. It's going to just piss people off. All you need to do is just talk about whatever it is they're posting about, leave a thoughtful comment, and they will reciprocate more often than not if you are taking that extra step. I do have a disclaimer. If you do not know who your ideal customer is, then this method might not work the best. You wanna really sit down and understand who your audience is. So you should know things like, what are their hobbies? What do they like to do in their free time? What do they like to watch? Where do they hang out? How old are they? Where do they live? These are all things that you wanna make sure that you know and understand. The reason why you need to understand who your audience is, is because if you do not understand who your audience is, you're going to waste time and drive traffic back to your page with people who are not your ideal customer. So if you're just looking to find any type of followers, I guess this would work, but you really want to drill down on who it is that you serve, who it is that you help, and who would benefit from what it is that you talk about or sell on your page. And once you find your ideal audience, you can comment on their posts. Make sure it just pertains to whatever it is that they are talking about on their posts. You do not want to spam and tell people to go check out your profile. That's whack. Just Talk about whatever it is that post is about. And I promise you, the more that you do this, if you set a schedule and you're doing this consistently, then more people will travel back to your page and they will reciprocate and leave comments on your posts, follow you, engage with you, and be a lot more supportive. So this is a little hack. I do this all the time and it drives hundreds and thousands of followers to my account and boosts my engagement. So yes. This definitely does work and I recommend that you give this a try consistently. Hack number four is live streaming. All right, so live streaming is the best way to get people to know, like, and trust you. And you can live stream for as little as 10 to 15 minutes as long as you are engaging and providing a lot of value then you are going to be good in this department. But this gives you an opportunity to talk to your audience in real time, especially if you are promoting a product or a service and you're talking to your audience and you can engage with those who are on the fence about buying your product and you can answer their questions in real time, overcome their objections, talk about how to use your products or services effectively. Like, all of these different things. What works well too is hopping on live streams and just providing some value, um, telling them how to accomplish something, do little tutorials. All of these things work and drive a lot of engagement and followers and people to feel like, oh, all right, I get a sense of what it's like to really converse with this person or to work with them. So you definitely wanna make sure that you are live streaming on a regular basis because it's one of those things that the more you do it, the more people will start to show up for your live streams and look forward to them and engage with you every single time. So out of all the methods that I'm talking about in this video, live streaming is definitely one of the best ways to get more and more followers, get more and more sales, and get Get that loyal tribe, build that loyal tribe that you've always wanted if you are showing up for your audience and talking to them because it makes all of the difference. If you are new to live streaming and you don't know what to talk about in your first video, do an introduction to yourself. Talk about 
who you are, who you serve, what it's like to work with you, all of these things so that your followers, because you can't always assume that people know everything about what it is that you do. So you can do a quick little live for 10 to 15 minutes and just talk about what it is that you do, how you help people and what it's like to work with you so they can kind of see behind the scenes and, and understand it better because you can relay this information a lot better to people in a video than just in a little traditional post. So keep that in mind. Hack number five is to show up consistently. So I can't even tell you how many discovery calls that I hop on and I look over the potential client's social media feed and they are posting like once every three months or something like that. You cannot expect to grow on any social media platform if you are not showing up consistently posting content because what's going to happen is those who are stumbling across your profile, they're not even going to be sure if you're an active account or not. So most likely they're not going to follow you or if people are going to follow you, it's going to be very little versus if you're showing up daily and engaging and posting tips and tricks and strategies, showing up for your live streams, these kind of things make all of the difference. I will say from firsthand experience, those who I talk to who are inconsistent on social media are frustrated, they don't get enough engagement, they don't get enough people who see their content so the fix for this is to show up consistently, provide valuable information, post stories, post reels, live stream at least one to three times a week. All of these various different things, when you combine them together and you do it consistently, you will start to get more leads, more sales, more followers, more engagements, more comments, all of these various different things and more opportunities as well. Like you have to show up for your, for your business and you have to show your face and let people get to know more about you. And this isn't like an overnight thing. You really have to just continue to do this. Like put your head down and just continue to like stay focused, get your content out there for your ideal audience to see. All right, I am wrapping this video up. If you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up emoji down below in the comment section and I will see you in my next video. Make sure if you are not following me already, give me a follow on Instagram at ChristianBTV3. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see all of my upcoming videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.